Hey Devils, it is Wednesday, January the 8th. Today is day 8 of my cardio burn. Um, before I even speak on the exercise, I do want to say thank you to all of my subbies that took the time out to send up prayers about my car. But I want to talk to you about talk to you about something a little different. Um, last night when I went home, uh, after I got out of the shower, I was drying off as usual, but I noticed a lump in my left breast, and this was something that hit me. Uh, I noticed it right away. It wasn't like, oh, that's a little whatever. No, this was a lump, a sizable lump to where I saw it and it moved. Um, and I had never seen anything like that before on my body. So I went into panic mode. I got my daughter to feel what I felt. And I know she felt it because she looked a little weird. But then after that, she was like, oh, it's nothing, mom. But I also seen the concern in her eyes. So needless to say, last night, I didn't get much sleep at all. So this morning, I knew that I had to be about my shit. And I called my doctor's office right away. And I made an appointment. And they seen me this morning at 8.30. So I immediately went in, tired and draining and all, because I went to work anyway. But she squeezed me in. And I went in. And then um, when they gave me the breast exam, the nurse felt what I felt. So she immediately got on the phone and got me in to have an ultrasound done. And the results were a blessed one. Um, they did the ultrasound because the lady that was doing the actual um, uh, procedure on me felt the lump. And she explained, you know, that uh, when women have dense breasts like me, um, it'll be kind of hard for me to determine what to be signaled out of as a as a, uh, a warning type thing. So, make a long story short, there were two cysts sitting on top of each other, and when you see it in the on the ultrasound. It looks pretty scary, but it was like two big clusters on top of each other. Um, so what she did was she did a cyst anesthesia, something like that, cyst anesthesia. Needless to say, it, they drained it, and I shared a picture of that on uh, Facebook. But I want to say that God is truly good because it could have been worse, and I'm truly, truly thankful. So women, whenever you feel something or see something that's not right, don't question it. Just go ahead and call and act on it. Be proactive. I know I got the scare out of my life and I was like, damn that car. I'm thinking about my health. Um, so do your monthly self-examinations. They're so important and it's best to know than not to know. And I'm thankful for all the divas that reached out to me today and asked if I was okay. I appreciate you all. One hairy situation. I didn't tag you in Facebook, but my daughter says when I start tagging people, people don't see my posts. I'm not worried about it because I know that eventually somebody will read what I wrote. And as long as one person read the message, that's all that matters to me. So anyway, today is day eight, y'all. I have 65 squats to get in today. And I will as soon as I finish my 45 minutes of burn on my Sapex machine, on my buddy. So I'm down to 35 minutes left to go. My daughter dropped me off here. So, um, yeah, ain't no stopping me now. I will put the results of my workout down below in the description bar or I'll post it on my IG or Facebook page. Follow me, y'all, and watch me shrink. Peace.